Hi, welcome back to another video. So today it's just an IKEA tour plus a haul plus a office home tour as well. So I went to IKEA yesterday. They've got a sale on. I didn't go to the showrooms. I did a couple, but not many. Um, I just did the main marketplace because I had a list of the things I needed to buy and I had a budget, so I just knew what I wanted to get from there. Um, but I did get two minutes of footage from the different things that they had, this, like the setups, the displays. I thought this board was super cute it's got legs which I really like for a chopping board if you need a bit of like height from the the um, sideboard obviously if you've watched any of my kitchen organization or storage videos you'll know that I'm obsessed with glass jars I didn't buy any today but I love glass jars anything to kind of store food in this one was so cute this little one super cute they had the bottles they had the drink dispensers that was 15 pound which I thought was a bit pricey um, from Ikea but I really like this with the cork lid as well, this jug. I mainly went for um, IKEA office stuff because we're doing the office out, which I'll show you at the end. So most of my stuff was like office based. They also had these, which I keep my cereal in. I always get asked about these, a three pound at IKEA. They had a bunch of flowers, really pretty little home decor bits, but I was on a budget, so I just knew what I needed from there. So in a minute, I'm gonna show you the haul, the things that I brought, including prices. And then at the end of that, I'm going to actually take you out to the office I've just finished it I've just hoovered the floor so I'm going to show you what our office looks like so I hope that you enjoy the video And this is what I brought. So I have a pegboard from Ikea, which we got a couple of years ago. This just stays in our office. We keep all of our office supplies, like YouTube, notepads, things that I'd like to do, that kind of thing. Hubby works at the desk as well sometimes. Um, so I have had this for years and used to be able to get the plastic tray thing, these tubs with this like lid that slides back um this was like the magazine rack thing that you can buy as an add-on and they also had like these clips which i've just got scissors on here so there's like little hooks there um and that was all you all you could buy as accessories well today when i was in the store i saw that they've updated their accessories for the pegboard so you can buy a few like, add-ons and i saw this and it was absolutely gorgeous i absolutely loved it so it's eight pounds for a set and you get the big um, basket but you also get a smaller basket and then a very tiny one so let's open this up and show you so this is the largest basket that comes in the set of three and this is great because this is going to replace that thing there because all of that falls out it doesn't really hold much so this can go there which I think would look really neat and then you also get as part of the set this like smaller one I'd say more like the medium size they have the little hooks at the back so you can hook it onto the pegboard so I'm going to utilize this one and then you get the cutest little thing you get this really little diddy one look how cute it is um and i thought this was going to be fab as well for things like pins um i don't know rubbers like uh, pencil sharpeners this is just a stationary board for me once before in fact if i can get the image i will include it in this video um i sent it to my friend about two years ago so i should be able to get it from whatsapp but once before i made this board into a jewelry and makeup so i had this in my upstairs guest bedroom and i used it as a dressing room and i had all of my jewelry and makeup in this as well so it's really versatile this board you could use it for anything but then i changed my mind and brought it down here into the office but i'll include that uh, picture as well so you can see if i can find it uh i'll go through whatsapp and have a look but if i can find it i'll show it you but i yeah i switched it up and i thought it looked really good then um but now i quite like it how it is with the office we've 
we've got all of our supplies on there and uh, we've got things like quite neat and tidy but I think stuff like this is just going to make it super super cute and I love it so you get a set of three for those I needed to update our scissors so I brought some more scissors for two pound for two pairs which is remarkable you get a really large one and then a smaller one um, but I think two pound is a really good price for those so I got some of those and then I did um, get one of these because when we had our pizza party at the weekend my um, tin opener is rusty and I was so embarrassed I've not bought a tin opener for about literally 10 years <laughs> like it's just something I've never replaced in the house like I've always had it and it's rusty and I was mortified so I bought a new tin opener as well I think this was three pound because I got the metal one you can buy the like cheaper version uh, for like a pound but I just went for a little bit more money and got a bit of a solid one so I brought that as well and then as well as the pegboard this um actually that might replace that I was thinking maybe that one could replace it but I think this is going to replace that like uh, plastic magazine thing there because this was four pound I think I'll put the price on the screen if it wasn't four pound um I can't find my receipt anywhere I thought I'd had my receipt to tell you the prices but I can't find it so I'll put the price on the screen for this if I got any of the prices wrong I'll put it on the screen so that you definitely know how much things were so it's really helpful if you want to go and purchase it yourself so I will put the price on the screen um I'll stop waffling on as well <laughs> about the price on the screen but I brought this because I thought this would look really good like to replace that plastic one up there because all of the books always fall out the paperwork always falls out it's really annoying um and I thought it looked super cute so that they're the hooks so it kind of goes the opposite side so I'll just turn it around like that and you'll just slide things through so I thought that was really cute as well and then I also bought some bookends for one pound each. So these were definitely a pound. I thought they were super cute, especially for a pound. Um, they're just these metal, like arched, I think like rainbow bookends. They're really cute. And they were one pound to go on my new bookcase, which I'll show you in a minute. I also picked up some frames. So for Hubby's birthday, I brought him some football frame, uh, sorry, football posters from Etsy. I think I brought five from different sellers on Etsy um, and I didn't have any frames so I've bought some frames from Ikea just to add to them because he's already got this one which I got him at Christmas so he's a forest supporter and fan he's been a forest fan for about 20 something years um, so I got him that one at Christmas it's just a Nottingham Forest tube map poster from Etsy and then the frame was from Ikea as well. And then I, he's had this one about 10 years. He bought that himself. It's like a Des Walker testimony poster with a black uh, frame as well. So I've got him some posters up here, which you can see from Etsy. There's others lying around in the office as well. I got a really big one. I went for the 30 by 40 centimetre frame. It's just very plain, like simple black frame. Really inexpensive. I'll whack the price on the screen. So I got a big one of those for one of his posters. And then I got two of the smaller ones here so these are 13 by 8 and these are just super cute little poster frames really inexpensive very cheap like basic frame so I got two of those for the smaller posters and then I got a 12 by 21 sorry by 30 centimeter black um frame as well to go for the other poster so I've brought four frames um I brought five but he's took one to his friend's birthday today in in the office at work and he's done like a funny little picture and he's put it in a frame so he's took one frame already which is annoying because Ikea is like an hour and a half away <laughs> so to get me another frame I need to go and travel an hour and a half um so maybe the fifth poster I won't put up for a while but anyway I've got these four frames for him price on the screen and then I got this super super cute little black chair now this was in the office stationery section but when I'm filming YouTube videos especially cooking I don't have a tripod well I've got a little tripod like a 30 centimeter one um I've tried the big ones before and they never really quite worked out with the layout of the kitchen it was always quite hard to get the um like camera to like bend down and go onto the sideboard and I've got nothing to like clip it on at height so I do my, most of my videos like quite 
um, not very high off the ground, like literally five centimeters off the ground, and I just put it on a tin or something. Well, I found this and I thought this was perfect. So I could put my phone, it's a mobile phone rester, but it was in the office stationery and it was two pound and it's just black metal, but I thought it was super cute. It's really sturdy and I quite like the aesthetic of it, but I could definitely lean my phone over it and it would be able to pick up some footage of cooking videos or preparing fruit and vegetables, that kind of thing. So I've got it for that, but I just think it looks super cute. So that was two pound, which I actually thought was a really good price. The other thing that I picked up was in the IKEA sale. So they had a bunch of sale items at IKEA. This was one of them. It was seven pound in the sale and it's a window, um, like plant holder I can't remember the official term for it but it's absolutely gorgeous now I've had my eye on this for a while it was £12 around Christmas time the last time I was there and it, I thought it was a bit too expensive but it had gone down to seven so this I in my lounge I've got a Juliet balcony and we've got some hooks with a purple like planter and we put some flowers in it, but I'm not keen on the purple planter. It's been there for years. It wasn't ours. It was the previous owner's like house um, when they lived here. So, you know, it's nothing to do with us, but it, they obviously they kept it here. I wanted to update the one that is there with this one because I thought it looked absolutely beautiful. It's this like rustic cream um, metal. It's not, well, this bit's metal. This bit's like rattan, I think. Um, and it's really nice. So the hooks are at the back here so it'll just hook on to the Juliet balcony at the side we've got all of these beautiful plants we've brought from the garden center to go in it and I think it'll look really pretty so this was seven pound which is a massive bargain in the sale for like an outdoor planter that's just going to clip onto our balcony so I'm super happy to get that I did pick up but some more glasses I've only got a few glasses now like drinking glasses to have uh, squashing or fizzy pop that kind of thing but drinking glasses I was just a bit low on I think when people come to your house it kind of highlights the stuff that you need to buy <laughs> that you're like running low on and glasses was one of those so I got four of these these were 90p each but I love them because they're like this really like fake crystal but they're beautiful they've got like a bit of a sharp edge at the bottom like all the way around it just is a nice little pattern and design very simple but 90p so I thought that was really good price so I got those and then I picked up this for two pound would you believe it so this was a beautiful vase. Now, on my birthday on Sunday, um, sorry, Monday, but on Sunday when family came, I had a fair few bunches of flowers. And I realised again, I'm out of vases. <laughs> so I need to get another vase for the flowers. So I picked up this yesterday and it, I love it. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's a different vase. Usually I just get the straight one. This has got a slight curve to the edge at the top here, but I think it's really stylish. So I got a vase as well. And then the last thing was £9, and this is, well, the last thing, actually, sorry, that's a lie. There's a few more things, but this was £9. This is for my hubby's um, desk at work. So this, I wanted to keep this in the office because I thought it was really nice and it would go with the pegboard, but he wants to take it into work and have it for him. So this is just a little office desk tidy thing. It's got a little drawer. It's got a little pen pot, stuff for paperwork. I thought it was a really good price, actually. It's just cream and metal, but that is for him maybe because he took that poster frame off me I'll keep this for like revenge and I'll just say that he can't take it I don't think it's going to work but I'll try and keep this in the office because I really like the way that it looks um and I also picked up two of these fake like I don't know if it is eucalyptus um I feel, I feel like it might be eucalyptus fake, but it's called this brand here. Um, and I really like the look of it. I've got a vase that I brought from B&M in the sale about two weeks ago, and I've got nothing to put in it. So I got two of these branches for that, and I'll put the price on the screen for those as well. I think they were really cheap. I don't think they were expensive, like per single branch at all. And then the last thing for me to show you of this IKEA haul, is this thing here that's just sitting right next to my washing. So apologies for that. I've got my electric heater on, which is just drying some towels. So apologies for the background. Um, so it's this, I didn't measure this properly. <laughs> 
Well, I did. I measured the space and I knew what I was looking for. But when we were there, we were debating to get a taller one, a smaller one. And we went from price point. So we just got the one we could really afford. So I just went for the £55 one. This was the like standard fairly good price very basic solid billy bookcase i've obviously i've had these before i used to have the cube ones the four ones we all know what a billy bookcase looks like they're very popular um but i really like it in this space so i measured it and i knew what i was getting but i didn't realize well i did realize but i didn't think that the light switch was there um and <laughs> when hubby put it up and fixed it last night and then put it in its space because this is like the door of the office which is through here and then this wall here has got a bit of a you can see a bit of a like in depth to it like a bit of an indent and then the rest of the office kind of goes around like that so this bit here is the perfect place for a piece of furniture we could have got one taller but i was quite happy just to pay the 55 pound just to stay in budget um but obviously it covers the light switch and I mean, it's not a problem because it doesn't do anything, like it's not damaging the light switch. It's not unsafe to have it like that. I'll just put something very basic here. Um, so I've got plenty of room just to switch the light switch on and off. I'll take that off, but on and off um, the light switch there. But yeah, I didn't think about the light. When I measured the wall, I didn't think about the light switch in place. So that's slightly annoying, but this was 55 quid and I thought it's going to do the job perfectly. I've got tons of office baskets. We've not done the office for well since we've moved here since we came to this house we've not touched the office space we've done a little bit of the pegboard and we've put posters up and canvases and stuff but we've done the bare minimum so what I'm going to do now is put all of the stuff on this Billy bookcase here and um, I'm going to put all of this stuff away I've got to put the iron board away there's just so much stuff I've got to do but I'm going to do it all now and then at the end I'm going to do a little office tour and I'll show you all of the stuff in its place and you can see See what our office currently looks like with all of the IKEA stuff in. Okay, so this is my official finished for the day office space. It isn't like fully finished just because I need to put the light shade up, which I can't do because you've got to like wire it in. And then I need to get some curtains for the curtain pole here. So just for a bit more privacy and to, just to kind of finish the wall. But I will show you what I've done. I've put these four up myself. Now I think Hubby's going to be impressed with this. So this is like the main back wall where the desk is. He put those two up. And then I just added a bit of a gallery wall here. I think he'll like it because there's nothing on this wall at all or in that space. So hopefully he likes that. I actually hammered them in with a nail. So I'm super, <laughs> super impressed with my DIY skills today. And then this is the main office desk. So now all of that stuff's gone from behind the door. There's nothing behind the door, which is really useful useful we've got these two posters either side which were there before with the pegboard I got rid of some of the older stuff and then I've put the new stuff out so I've got my new baskets this is YouTube so that's all of my notebooks for YouTube and paperwork and stuff to like self-assess and file the tax and all of that so that's for YouTube this is a little pen pot which I thought was super cute and then this is paperwork for hubby I've got my new scissors at the top there. I've got my um, felt tips, crayons and highlighter pens, which I just love to add a bit of colour. And then I've got a little one just for sticky notepads. I did put the fake artificial plant into the, this um, spotty vase, which was from Matalan. I thought that was super cute and it adds a nice bit of greenery to this side of the room. I kept the lamp, which was here before, and then I added my little mobile phone rester. This is Hubby's tablet and keypad and mouse. That's not mine. I've got a laptop, but it's not here, so I don't use that. And then this is just this little coaster just to match with the black and white theme with the office. I've kept the office chair. So this is mine from upstairs. We're going to use this one. I'm not buying a new one. And I've kept the IKEA desk. So it's fairly simple. It's quite a budget friendly office, but it does the job perfectly. And also it just makes the, the room look nicer because this is the middle floor. So it just adds something a bit extra to this house rather than the middle floor room just being a bit of a dump because the opposite side of this hallway is the lounge so this doesn't really get used if we had children or a bigger family 
this potentially could be a bedroom because there's two bedrooms upstairs and then this would make the third but obviously we don't have them so at the moment this is just going to be for our office moving on we've just got a little rug on the floor which i've had for ages from b and m i've got this tree which is from primark i thought this added a nice bit of greeny room because this side of the room is the billy bookcase so coming through the door you see the billy bookcase here it's not fully finished because obviously hubby needs to add what he wants to add but for now i've just done it to make it look quite clean and tidy we've got two storage baskets full of overstock of things filing paperwork all that kind of stuff in there he's got a little cupboard from when we went to disney we went to florida and this was in 2017 so we've got some memorabilia from that trip we've got i found some books that he doesn't really like reading but i found a couple of books that he was gifted like at christmas and stuff so i've put that for here because in the spare bedroom i've got a bookcase i've got all of my like makeup and handbags so that's kind of my dressing room as well so this is more for like his stuff um he's got his forest scarves and when they won um the final and they got into the premier league this year he's got some books we've got a printer we've got a laminator photocopier and then just a basket full of like um, printer paper and like tools and stuff that he would need to get these to work and then obviously the tree and we've got the armchair which is his grandpa's he's very precious to him so this is in the office with a little cushion from asda and a blanket and then a canvas at the back there, which is really cool. That's the light shade that needs to go up. So that is everything. It's took me about half a day just to get everything all out here and really nice. But, you know, it's all on a budget. It wasn't expensive to do at all. But yeah, it just makes the room a lot nicer. It gives the room a bit of a purpose. And it means that when we are... If I'm doing like editing, I can sit at this desk. If hubby needs to do a bit of work, he's got a desk to sit at. And then obviously all the pegboards got all of the stuff that we would need. So on a budget, I'm really happy with how it's come together. I just need to add some curtains and I need to put the light shade up. But I'm super thrilled that I managed to hammer those nails into the wall. <laughs> and I actually think it looks really smart now and it's a really nice space. My main point was that I didn't want it to be a dumping ground. And I feel like with the changes we've made, made it's not going to be a dumping ground you know we can keep things all in its own place and just give the room a purpose so yeah that is the end of the video i hope that you enjoyed seeing what was at ikea what i brought from ikea and then how i just displayed it in the house and made use of the things that i brought thanks so much for watching enjoy the rest of your day whatever you're up to take care and i'll see you on the next video